Hi, my name is Leo, and I play Agent Ghoul Tadir here on Eclipse, a Star Wars story. I'm going to bring you guys up to speed, but first, I want to remind you that the best way to keep up with the campaign is to subscribe to the channel. Previously on Eclipse, a Star Wars story. The Rebels struck the ORSF compound in the capital city of Falcon, and the Eclipse team was sent in response. Things started out smooth until the crew rolled up on an accident in the street, where Morgan and Ghoul stayed to investigate while the rest went on. Rook, Price, and Sierra, after investigating the exterior of the compound, breached. Rook managed to rescue all the civilians trapped inside, while Sierra and Jason came in through the windows of the second story. Jason then rappelled down to rescue the woman that had originally sent the distress call from inside, Elena Price. What will become of this situation? Tune in to find out. So let's get it started in here. I can't do that. All right. So welcome back to another <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Eclipse of Star Wars Story. I'm joined by Sierra, Ghoul, Price, and Rook. Morgan and Hyde were unable to make it to this particular recording, so we shall venture on without them. So. Where we last left off, uh, Ghoul, let's pick up with you because you're currently standing over an unconscious Morgan because he was a dumb dumb and he shot you. So we're gonna <laughs> say, we're gonna say that uh, a medic bandaged you up. You are at um, your. Go ahead and take minus or plus one health. I should say plus one. Okay. Plus one. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, what are you at right now? I have one missing. Okay, very good. Okay, so, very good. Um, Morgan saw his, uh, <laughs> his former partner kind of standing there in the street and kind of went nuts. And, um, so after an entire squad of stormtroopers and one stun blast later, he's unconscious and sitting in handcuffs under heavy guard. Uh, you uh -huh. are standing there in front of blast doors that are broken, and you have been listening to comms. Uh, are you going to go around to uh, go through the hole in the wall? or Might as well. <laughs> Okay, you go around and uh, enter through the hole in the wall. Um, Sierra, nice. you are uh, up in the second story, and um, you just watched Price, uh, Jason Price, uh, rappel down to uh, rescue the woman that was in danger of falling to the sub basement. Um, what or sorry basement sub level whatever um what uh, what do you do from here are you going to try and use the elevator are you going to try and rappel down yourself um what are you going to do well price said he didn't really want me to go down with him just so we couldn't get pinned down and whatnot so i think i'm going to clear the second floor make sure everything is empty so we don't have to worry about our backs being filled with blaster shots Sounds like a plan. You skirt the hole in the floor, um, which um, for the audience at home, I guess I didn't do a very good job describing it. Um, so you guys hit the uh, conference room, then you go out into what would be a large kind of uh, foyer, I guess. But where it would be is there's just now a giant gaping hole in the floor that goes down through 
the first floor below it into a basement that's not even on the hologram that was provided to your team, um, which is, uh, in the terms of Among Us, very sus. You, uh, you uh, move into the <clears throat> room opposite, and it is an office room filled with cubicles uh, after stealthing your way through. Um, you come across no life signs. Same thing in the uh, subsequent two rooms. It appears that this entire um, this entire second floor is devoid of uh, life of any kind, except for you and the stormtroopers that are still kind of stacked and spaced out as best they can in the boardroom that you guys breached through. Jason, you are standing and you just uh helped this woman uh up out of the hole in the floor um when we talked about it a long time ago um not in a galaxy far far away though when we talked about it uh it was very it was made very clear to me that you're very good at keeping this under wraps am i correct in saying that like both of you guys are very good at that like if you were to meet if you and her were to meet anywhere it would just be like oh i've never met you before type deal or are you guys kind of bad at that i would say it depends on the uh situation all right then I don't want to speak for these characters because they're both out of your imagination. What do you think? Uh, well, first tell me, tell me what her reaction is, um, because right now the kid's missing. Um, she just had a near-death experience, and she also doesn't know that it's you because it's dark. She can't see. Um, are you gonna like? What What do you think is going through her head right now? Uh, probably very angry. Very angry at uh, herself, rebels, the, every the situation. Okay. Um. Then uh, what's going through your head right now? Uh. To sum it up simply, son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch that you're in the situation. Son of a bitch that all this is happening. Son of a, son of a, son of a, son of a. Pretty much. Right? Pretty much. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so, she's, uh, she kind of just, not shoves you off, but she steps away from the hole and just creates her personal bubble again after you help her up. Um, do you say anything to her? What do you do? So he, he would say, ma'am, are you okay? Wait, what are you doing here? Why weren't you with the others? Could have died. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, she's uh, going okay. to like... You you see you have um, low light in your helmet, so she you see her turn and look into your general direction, and you see kind of a look of recognition dawn on her face, and then you see it just go back to stone cold like not stone cold but just like uh, neutral face, and uh, she's she says I'm. Fine. My kid's missing. And I don't have any clue where he went. As for what the fuck is wrong with me, she takes a step towards you and swings to try and like slap you in the face, but of course she can't see, so she just whiffs. Um, she says damn it i really thought that would have worked and she kind of scratches the back of her head and she heads for the door to the room um <laughs> uh, <laughs> um 
Rook, you are... Uh, Ghoul has just entered through the um, hole in the south wall. Uh, you were tracking towards the youth uh, youth care, right? The um, Or you were, you were yeah. in child care. Um, so you get to the um, child care room, I guess. It's not really a building because the, the, the rooms are connected to the ceiling. Like they, they are standalone rooms almost, uh, or like they're like cubicles, except the cubicles touch the ceiling. Um, but the rooms, yeah. So um, the door was broken. Just to recap, um, door was broken, um, clearly forced open, probably by the parents of the children that were trapped inside. Um, the room is uh, strewn with toys, um, a broken like nanny bot, and there is a child's toy laying on the floor there um you uh, you have no knowledge of this toy unless how um how much do you think rook knows about the imperial education system <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> i'm gonna assume pretty little okay then uh I will uh, at least its uh, internal workings. Okay. Do you do you think you would recognize a child's like education, child's like a uh, like Ronan um, or Creed or uh, like Price said earlier, um, baby's for <laughs> baby's first Android, um, more like. Uh, how to spell, how to count, shapes, colors, things like that. Um, and by the way, all hail our Lord and Savior, the Emperor, uh, type toy. How much do you, do you think? Do you think you would be familiar with that, or n no? So I'm inclined Not to say familiar, no. but I, I bet I could at least identify it. Um, okay, then you identify it as a child's education toy uh, that is activated. Um, you uh, are you gonna pick it up or is you know, the room dark? the room is dark but it is also clear because you can tell that with your low level um okay are you gonna pick up the is toy there or... Side room or like is anywhere there... that the children can hide um there are some cabinets and after checking those cabinets they are empty Toy chest, anything? Um, toy bins are all clear too. Well, I'm gonna take the hint, and uh, I mean, you don't have, have to, but toy. I mean, yeah. Um, Laying it on a little thick there, buddy. I'll, I mean, I'll take the bait. You don't have to. I'll take the bait. Okay. What's happening? I will. I will Knowing say. Sigma, it will fuck us hard. <laughs> no, I no. wouldn't say that when we're talking about children. Yeah. So um, this robot, uh, you inspect it, has a little. Um, uh, has a uh, a little screen for a face, and it's currently um, just a blue screen. Um, but there's a little activator switch on the side that uh, resets it if it's ever like dropped or broken or whatever, and it has kind of like a self reboot. Did you just uh, tell me error. this child's toy is running Windows? Um, <laughs> no. Windows. Um, give me one second. I'm gonna <laughs> never get away from. Change the lore from blue screen to something else. Dark. Uh, Dark. Red screen. <laughs> Green screen, cyan screen. Wow. We're, we're gonna go with cyan. Charge truth. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> now it's just among us. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the droid is an imposter. You're already dead. It's us. Uh, no. It's the mini me uh, imposter. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all. Right, so can we assume that the stormtroopers that were escorting the people out are out now? Yes, they are. Um, so, yeah, I'll move those guys then. Are they coming back in to me, or no? They can if you want. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to do that. Okay. Um. Cool. Uh. So you examine the toy and the chartreuse screen. Um. No, I'm not keeping that. Uh. The black. Um. Kind of a static screen. <laughs> um. Is there and then a reset button on the on the back of the um head, but on top of it is a little camera um that is used for um video calling or stuff like that uh or just recording short messages or things of that nature um I immediately punched the ever loving shit out of that camera. Okay. Um, That's not an overreaction at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly uh, Okay. Uh, the static um, grows stronger. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay. Uh, Ghoul, are you in the room with him now, or are you kind of investigating around the place? I'm trying to meet up with someone else so that I'm not on my own. Okay, then yeah, you would want to meet up with um, Rook. Mm -hmm. So, okay, um, so you meet up with him and you notice just you notice him like take his um, his knuckle plate blade and just like stab it through the camera of this child's toy. Looks like the day's gone pretty good so far. Well, I mean, you never know who's watching through cameras like this. Mm-hmm. You should know. Yep. I'm thinking... Um... Uh, it's excessive. <laughs> <laughs> toss it to the ground. Shut up! And I walk out of the room. room. <laughs> Grade A character interactions here, everybody. Grade <laughs> I'm A. Oh, <laughs> Uh, um, will you pick up the toy since it is still activated or no I feel well does this thing actually have a memory chip it does then you, I'll take the memory you would probably on. know of this specifically because of your work so mm -hmm. you and the fact that they have a camera <laughs> Yeah, you may or may not know that this has a recording device uh, that uh, may or may not have been used in some strikes against some insurgents. I love Big Brother. Yeah, Big Big Brother in Empire. Um, so, yeah, so you know that it does have a recording device and a memory chip, and you have a pretty darn good guess as to what might be on that memory chip. Yeah, I'll just um, take the memory uh, chip. Okay. Um. You okay? Then let's flip back over to Sierra. Um. Price has signaled up to you that it's all clear on the second level. Um, after he did some looking around, and uh, you second? are free to come down. Uh, sorry, first level. Um, you sign. I guess you signaled to him, or some radio conversation went on. Um, but both the room that he is in currently, and the entirety of the second floor are clear, right there. And then the wall of the um adjacent room, um, right, right here, uh, was broken by the uh whatever it was that caused the hole in the first place yeah um so what do you do sierra well i'm going to signal to my clone or sorry i did it again i'm going to signal to the stormtroopers <laughs> that we should begin making our way down if he says it's clear i believe we should meet up with him on the first floor in a radio into price and rook Okay. Both primary stories of the office building are clear. Is it about time that we press down to the sublevel, or should we wait for you, Rook? We still have a lot of rooms to clear on the first floor. Um, we should prioritize this 
civilian and the child, um, we need to minimize casualties and then worry about where the Inquisitors and the Rebels are. Vermouth, I'll post a couple of stormtroopers as guards here, and I'll head out on side and help you look for the child. 10-4. Um, okay, then after that radio conversation, we'll say that all four stormtroopers are now on the main level, as well as Sierra. As are kind of all inside this uh, room, and then... I'm going to tell my guys to spread out and start looking through the other rooms as well. And I'll right. have both of mine stay in the region and make sure that nothing sneaks up on us or nothing comes out from the basement or they hear anything they can radio in. Okay. Um, wait, did you send... You said you sent some into the basement or if anything comes out of the basement? If anything comes out. Okay. Um, does that mean that you, um, and then you also, Price, does that mean that you two are moving out of the office and into the rest of the compound? Yes, I'd like to go examine the power building. Okay. Price, what about you? You gonna escort the civilian out? What you gonna do? Uh, yeah, I'm, that's what I'm gonna say I'm gonna do. All right. Um, after radioing the uh, uh, the rest of the squad, that you're gonna escort the civilian out. You escort her out of the hole in the south wall, and um, the stormtroopers that were with you split and uh, start covering other rooms of the compound. And slowly, one by one, um, you guys all hear uh, voices over the general comms from the troopers investigating the rooms. This is Tango 1 calling in. Uh, receiving area is clear. This is Tango 2 looking in the locker room. Everything's clear. No sign of civilians or uh, enemies. This is Tango 3 looking at uh, security closet 1. Everything's clear. This is Tango 4 calling in. Uh, security closet 2 is clear. This is Tango 5, same thing. And uh, you hear people call in from the cafeteria. You hear people call in from the uh, the power room. You hear people call in from uh, pretty much all over the compound um, as they sweep. And there's no sign of the kid or any other civilians. Uh, let's, resol let's resolve, um, Rook and Ghoul in the storage room. Uh, you guys, you guys step in and it's a mess. Um, lighting's been destroyed. Um, a lot of the, uh, crates have been overturned. Um, it looks like a bomb went off inside this room, but there's no evident scorch marks or anything like that. So, um, what do you? What are you guys investigating? If you guys want to investigate stuff, then now would actually be a good time to roll to investigate a mystery because we've done like no rolling this session. <laughs> Does one of you guys want to investigate the room? What do you want? Yes, to I got a five. So you're marking experience. And uh -huh. Rook is asking me three questions from Investigate a Mystery. Um, your questions are, what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What was it going to do? And what is being concealed here? Uh, based on your experience, Force users. Well, fuck. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew the Inquisitor was here, but... Yeah, you notice um, some things, um, but you also notice something peculiar. You notice, um, you notice an intact bottle of alcohol that is empty, but it is in the corner, and it only catches your eye because it. Um, it is the only intact bottle amongst the pile of shattered glass um, from other bottles. Uh, upon further inspection, it is not the same as the other bottles. Uh, you have two questions remaining. Read that list again, please. 
uh, what sort of creature is it, what can it do, what can hurt it, where did it go, what was it going to do, and what is being concealed here? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. What is being concealed here? So, not much is being concealed here. So I'll continue on the bottle tangents, kind of, because I guess that could be counted as concealed. You see a chart um, that had fallen off of its hook and it was laying on the floor. Uh, you pick it up and inspect it and you see that uh, you see a special code um, that the Empire uses to mark crates of goods that um, the manifest says it's one thing but it's actually something else. And that upon searching, you cannot find the crate that contained unmarked, fresh from the factory, E11 blasters that had been um, reported as missing. But anyways, you have one question remaining. What can hurt it? You guys are uh, in the storage. You walk out of the storage room and find yourself looking um rook you notice ghoul uh staggering a little bit um ghoul you are experiencing one of the most intense headaches you've ever felt in your life and i'm not just i'm not just talking like headband headache i'm talking about you feel it in your stomach headache headache mm. uh you feel it in like you feel it in you feel it in your bones um <laughs> uh but um you notice him just kind of weak on his weak on his feet and as you guys approach the um once you guys approach this point here kind of out in the foyer uh he drops to his knees and just looks like he's about to vomit. Um, or, well, you feel like you're about to vomit. You can't really look like you're about to vomit when you're in a stormtrooper suit. Um, <laughs> to say. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that headache is so intense, and you're the only one that appears to feel it. Let's go to Let's Jason. Go. What can hurt it? The Force. Well, I guess. Class. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that creates an issue. We have a surprising lack of force wielders here. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, there's, you, I can't really answer that question without just being like such and such. Um, technically, anything can hurt that, but they are, certain members of that party are particularly prone to fire. Well, <laughs> fire. But they're prone to explosions. I mean, they are prone to expl uh, prone to get hurt from explosions. Think uh, flashbangs, maybe um, concussive things that'll give them a headache. Um, psycho psych psychotic, I guess. Not drugs, but like you you know what I'm talking about. Stuff that affects mental, like. Um, Nerve gas, uh, no, no, no. knockout oh. gas. Um, anyways, uh, Price, you are now standing outside the compound um, alone with um, the civilian. Um, uh, she is kind of stomping off towards the southeast uh, hangar in a fume. What do you do, if anything? I'm going to follow her. Okay, do you say anything? Yeah. Um I say uh hold on one second. Uh she wheels around and kind of um points a finger at you and she says she practically hisses, "Don't you tell me to hold on because I've been holding on to that kid for the past couple of years or I don't even know where you are." So don't talk to me about holding on. And she turns around and she continues to walk away. Oh. Wow. 
Well, all right, damn. <laughs> <laughs> And she she stops about halfway to the hangar and she's she breathes and she turns around and looks at you and uh, she says, I couldn't do anything. I was on the second floor when everything went down. I wasn't I didn't even see where he went. I I don't know where Christian is. I don't know. Uh, All right. I'll respond with. uh, We'll find him. He's. Couldn't have gotten far. We, we've got guys looking all over the compound. He'll be all right. Oh, he does have a sensitive side. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she breathes a heavy sigh and she nods and she says, "All right. Well, since I'm one of the executive personnel for this, uh." what can only be described as a shit show, I will need to go fill out a report. So, if you'll excuse me, uh, she uh, starts to turn and says, good luck. Please find our son. And she turns and she walks away to join the rest of the uh, personnel in the hangar bay, who did not see you. But uh, she leaves you there. Bouncing back to Sierra, who is in the power room, uh, <laughs> you step in there, and there are sparks flying everywhere. Like, you're glad your suit's insulated, because if it wasn't, you'd probably be dead. So what are you um, what are you looking for exactly in this room? Well, I think the first problem for starters is that despite the fact the power is off, the power in this room is still on. So I think the best thing to do now is to throw a circuit breaker to turn it all off so it doesn't shock anybody who tries to fix it. Okay. Um, Go ahead and roll plus sharp to try and figure out which one that is. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Don't you have knives for fingers? How is that gonna work? They're retractable. They're retractable. Okay. Jinx. Okay. I'll accept that answer. Eight. Um. Oh, uh, it's still a nine. Never mind. Wait. So nine? No, that's a uh, that's a success. It's a full success. Um. Oh wait, no, that's a Lovely. partial success. My bad. Uh, my <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. Um, outcome price to pay. Okay, so we will say that you flip the circuit breaker, um, but the uh, charge of just shutting it all off and cutting it all off sends up a shower of sparks that sends you uh, staggering back, and uh, you um, uh, fall backwards out of the room. Um, no damage, but because you've got armor on, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> is it the room still sparking and sputtering? No, um, but now everything is dark, everything is dark, there is no emergency lighting anymore. Um, but uh, behind you, uh, with um headlights activated uh walks a uh, an engineering crew um who uh, nod to you and uh the uh the head of the uh, the crew says we'll take it from here we should have the place up and running within the next few minutes uh it looked like just a couple wires need to be repaired but otherwise shouldn't be oh never mind that might take like a hour or two We'll get it done as fast as possible. And they, in that uh, case, they... <laughs> go ahead. In that case, can you at least leave the emergency lighting on? We'll see what we can do. Um... He steps inside and takes a quick look around as um, two other troopers follow him in, and he calls back out and says, 
We can uh, restore power to the emergency lighting and to a few of the critical systems. It looks like the power to the mainframe's untouched, so the computers should work. Wonder if you guys will be able to pull surveillance. Uh, emergency lighting should be able to get it up and running. He um, takes out a few uh, tools and places them around wires that are um, separated, and uh, his technicians um, assist him in uh, repairing some of the different consoles and um, just circuitry. And he says, All right, so hopefully. When we kick it back on, emergency lighting is going to come on. You guys will have power to the security cameras and to, or well, you'll have access to whatever feeds they got before the power was shut off. And then you'll have access to, what is this one? Oh, to the elevator. That should be helpful. And uh, he flips the circuit breaker, and the um, a lot of the emergency lights come on. Um, there are still a few that are damaged that don't come on, but um, there's a, a slight hum of electricity now uh, as things become to get uh, start being powered on. Uh, let's flip back to um, Rook and uh, Ghoul. What are you guys doing? Ghoul's kind of sick to his stomach. Are you going to get him out of there? What's going on there, do you think? I have no reason to Sorry, go be ahead. here. Go ahead. I kind of spaced out. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're all tired, I think, at this point. No, um, I'm good. Okay. Um, well, you guys, um, Ghoul's kind of just... Uh, he wants to get out of here there because he's uh, he's not feeling so good, Mr. Stark. And um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so are you gonna stick around and try and investigate? Um, the uh, engineer relayed that over general comms, so um, you guys both know that security tapes and mainframe are both back online. Do you guys want to go investigate that or? Get me to the security. I'll take care of that, and you can continue with whatever else is going on. Oh, I can be useful if I'm sitting down. So help me get there. What else is there that needs to be done? Damned if I know. All I know is I can help with that. Right? Say so what? The entire place has been searched, right? Pretty okay. much. I don't other than the uh, sub basement, no. I'm gonna recall oh, all the star okay. reapers and take them down the hole, and with anybody else that wants to go as well. Oh, you cool. Thanks. Okay. Um, I guess I'll stumble my way to security then. No, you said do whatever. So I said help me get the security and then do whatever. Well, the process. <laughs> I am not paying attention, okay? Gosh, damn it. Shut up. No. Does anybody want to go down into the sub basement with him? Yeah, I, I, I think I gotta. All right. Are we gonna leave the um? Are we gonna leave the two stormtrooper guards? Uh, up top, or no? Four. Probably wise too. I would say like four. four, six, I think. Uh, two. Actually, no, yeah, no. You have eight. you have six with you, and two are standing up top. So, oh, okay. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, two's good. Yeah. All right. Um. Very good. All right, so we're going to delete you. Rook's in there. Um, Terror Trooper, are you going down with him? Absolutely. All right, then the Terror Trooper goes too. 
So the nine of you are all down in the, uh, you guys are all down in this sub-basement. It's a large square room and there are uh, several hallways leading off from it. So you guys can choose to follow each, uh, whichever hallway you wish. Um, it's entirely up to you. I say we each take two and split up evenly. Oh, oh shit, I didn't know these are a thing. Wait, I'm spooky. You want me to just look around? Um, um what? That's that's entirely up to you guys. With my ability to be cloaked, so long as one of them isn't a force sensitive, I should be pretty unnoticeable. But aren't isn't it confirmed I mean, force sensitive? Oh no, uh, uh, we've got. I thought we had confirmed force sensitives on. We do. We do. On site. Yeah. Not not on. Oh. You don't know if you have confirmed force sensitives on site, but well, you, you know that like the it. yeah the um the rebels do have force sensitive people. So, um okay. So as you guys uh let's see, are you guys gonna split the you guys gonna split the party or? <laughs> I'm in security. Yeah. So yeah, we already so... split. That's up to the. Um, maybe, maybe we should just do two rooms at a time. <laughs> Not right. multitask. I'm fearful of finding a rebel war camp. <laughs> Why? Come on. Uh, Where's your sense of adventure? The last time I had a sense of adventure, I brutally slaughtered a human. That wasn't a sense of adventure. That was a sense of, ha ha, fuck this person. It was There's an adventure difference. and torture and sadism. No. No. And no. How are you guys going to do this? I'd say <laughs> three, three, and three. Okay, so you guys split up into three different groups. Um... Rook, you follow a hallway down and through a door, and you open it, and inside is just carnage. Um, crates have been overturned. It looks similar to uh, similar to the storage room, except it does look like a bomb went off in here, um, with scorch marks um, in several places, as well as uh what you determined to be lightsaber cuts along the wall um uh sierra you take your two hey, down uh, and yeah. yeah um are the lights back on yet they are actually um all of the lights down here are perfectly fine except for can that main them, room can can we get them shut back off um you radio up to the uh, uh you radio up to the um ba -bum -ba -bum engineer up in the um what you call it the electrical room and he um radios back and says all right if you're sure you want the emergency lights to go too cut them all copy that and he cuts them all, and you are in the uh, pitch dark of the room until you turn your low light, uh, low light sensor on. Um, Sierra, you are in a room that is lined with uh, computer terminals and some. Uh, scientific equipment um it looks like uh don't know it looks like there's some like mapping devices as well as some um geographical um instruments are um within all of the computers and technology that are in this room and then price you enter a room that uh intrigues you uh, particularly because you see images, um, or you do until the lights get cut, um, you see images of uh, stormtroopers training 
Um, then when the lights get cut, you turn your low light on and you see um, several sets of computers as well, um, all with uh, um, no special equipment, but it looks like several several technicians work in this room. Um, the lights get cut and you guys are left in the dark. You all turn on low lights and you continue forward. Ghoul, um, we're going to try and wrap the episode here. Um, you are currently sitting in security, yes? Yes. Okay. Um, you, what are you going to do? Well, I was just going to try to check security tapes to see who we were dealing with, if it was the same group as before, and anything to help the ground team along with trying to get over my fucking headache. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll plus sharp to investigate a mystery. Nine. Nine. So you get to ask me one. Um, but I will also grant that um, you have a, due to you retrieving the memory cartridge um, from the child's toy, I will say that you have a piece of questionable intel, um, which is a yes or no question that I can answer um and I can uh, choose to uh, choose to be truthful, half truthful. You don't know. Um, so you get to ask me one question: um, What happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What was it going to do? And what was being concealed here? Where did it go? <clears throat> Actually. Let's go with what is being concealed. Mm, yeah, let's go with what is being concealed here. Okay. All right. Um. So you guys, uh, or you rather, um, search through the security feeds, and it cuts off really early into what you assume was the fight because you watch as, um, you watch as who you identify as uh the target Ophelia. Um, try to enter through the front gate, but then get uh, get through the guards and then get caught inside the child care center. Um, you watch as a couple of who you thought were workers until you looked again. Uh, you saw several of the um, several of the rebel team in the uh, basically big room heading towards storage before they engaged uh, the stormtroopers. Um, Narsor was the biggest giveaway. Um, whale man, kind of hard to mistake. Um, mm -hmm. And then um, shortly into the fight, the lights cut off. Uh, you use the time you have before he uh, cuts the power again to look at the security cameras and um, you notice something on the wall of the basement. Mm -hmm. um, you see something through the security cameras, Rook, and then, or not Rook, uh, Ghoul, and then you, since security is so close to the, um, the gaping hole that allows you to get down to the sub level, uh, you stagger and run to the hole just in time. Um, sorry. You kind of stagger slash run to the hole just in time before the lights cut out to see an image that haunts you. You see the picture of a black convoy. Son of a bitch. But that's not all. You have a piece of questionable intel that you you can use so yeah, you need it. okay you need to use it um by using it how you would just whatever the item is like if it's um in your example it's a memory card um uh you would need to put it into some sort of reader in order to um see what was on the memory um if it was classified documents, you'd need to get it, uh, um, a code cracker to open it up so that you could get into it. If it was a prisoner, then you could, you'd need to interrogate him, whatever. So, um, 
if you want, the technician can try to uh, divert power so that it only goes to the computers if you want to use that intel. Yeah, I'm going to have him do that. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So he does that. The computers remain on while the lights go off, and the room is illuminated only by the light of the computer screen. I assume you insert the memory card into the computer to see what was on it? OK. Um, before I tell you what's on it, then uh, you can ask me a piece of, uh, you can ask me a question. OK. And it has to be a yes or no question. Can I ask a question before that? Sure. Don't expect me to answer honestly, though. No, depends what it is. What was the thing I just saw in the wall call region? <laughs> a convor. That's C -O -N -V -O -R. right. C-O-N-V-O-R. Okay. Just taking notes, and I couldn't remember how the hell to spell it. Um, no, oh, you should. Bird thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he should have notes on it already. But uh, no, that's I was trying to make down more notes. More notes. <laughs> mm, shit. Uh, Yes or no question. Gosh dang it. Why do you make this difficult? <laughs> also, fuck you, Sigma. What? Convores. Mm hmm You know, one of Ahsoka's things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck you. You don't, uh, you don't know. You don't know. No. Fuck you, you don't and the know. starship you rode in on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. I want to go to bed. But I also want to do this. Okay, sorry. Uh, blanking good. very hard right now. Um, would you like me to tell you what's on the memory, and then maybe you can ask? That would help. Okay. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out how what was on the memory. You, <laughs> the you um, you load up the memory, and you watch as the camera records the following: Ophelia enters the daycare then proceeds to steal cookies from the nanny bot, entice a young child, a young, a little boy who you uh, imagine is maybe four or five years old, and the oh, the, the the kid. Look, it was not me. I I swear to you, I did not perform these actions. Um, I will murder you. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. child runs out of the room, and the Imperial standing at the door, talking to the o uh, ORSF uh, guard, run after the child. You watch as Ophelia escapes the room. You watch as the power goes out. You watch as um, an undetermined uh, rebel. It's kind of at this point. Um, it's dark and. The only light is from the emergency lighting, and you watch as uh, a tall figure uh, scoops up a smaller figure, um, and then you watch as that figure is then uh, followed very swiftly by a red double-bladed lightsaber. What was a tiny figure? Kid. Big kid happier, son. Um, I'm going to have to murder some people. <laughs> uh, is my question gonna be Did Ophelia take the child with her? <sighs> cool, good. Point. Uh, I'll say yes, but it wasn't Ophelia so much as the rebels. So, why like, would as, the rebels? As we, as we were ending the session, at uh, never mind. I'm gonna. So I'm a cube comms. I found the child, and. We have an issue because it is not in the compound anymore. The rebels seem to have found an alternate method for getting new recruits. Then you haven't found the child. 
they took it. So, um, Ghoul, you're coming through real, uh, real staticky to everybody else. Uh, um, no. uh, you, um, you notice the, uh, the screen kind of ripple a little bit. Um, so I need to backtrack because there's some important thing that you, you kind of, you kind of need. Um, so the, uh, the name of this little toy that you found, um, is called a bobble. It's, uh, and it's named appropriately because the giant screen that it has for a face is, um, massive compared to its tiny little baby body, and it is meant for young children. Um, the Bobble 10 droid um, is notorious for having uh, faulty camera issues, but not having a very good security system either, and you have caught many a person um, by tracing something through one of these droids, but also watching through one of these droid school. So it comes as a sort of shock to you when you hear through the computers uh, a voice. Hello, my name is Bobble 10, but you can call me Billy for short. Would you like to call your parent, hear a story, or play a game? What? <laughs> uh, you you have you have this kind of what the fuck response, um, and uh, you if that um that response only grows stronger as uh, <laughs> as as you All hear the right. following. I'm sorry, Christian, but your parents are not available at this time. Maybe you should leave them a message. And then you hear static come through the speakers on the computer, and then you hear the android's voice again. Hello, my name is Bobble. Uh, hello, my name is Bob. Uh, hello, my name is B And the uh, the voice of the droid statics out to the point where he's just saying my name over and over and over again. And then the power to the computer cuts out. You hear static in your ears. A few seconds pass. And then everything's fine. The screen turns back on. The um, lights in the room turn back on. And uh, down below in the... Uh, in the basement, the lights turn back on, much to the confusion of the soldiers down there, but echoing through the entirety of the basement and uh, and out of the speakers. You hear his voice again as you listen to doors around the compound shut closed. And he says, Hello? My name is Biode. Would you like to play a game? Ah, oh, son of a oh, bitch. My. All stations evacuate immediately. What they the can't hear you because your comms are jammed, and now you are in the maze. Welcome oh, to Saw Star Wars Edition, everybody. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>